So I got my ecumenical uh, style one from, you know, my goon cap. Because I have an unboxing one. I started, what the heck is this? I thought it was something else. But then I realized what it was. So let us continue together. Uh, I guess we need to continue if I had a scissor. Oh, there we go. Uh, I ordered this uh, before I left for my little road trip to St. Louis in Canada. My train trip, which I had a fantastic time. Oh, come on now. Oh, they really seal this sucker up. Can I tell you? Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see, it comes like this. With a little thank you note. Well, let me... Let us read the thank you note. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can read it. I, m I might have a, pa a pa panic because I think my other glasses... Oh, it's in the other bag. Thank you for your order. I hope it meets... Your expectations. Please do leave seller Facebook on Amazon. I'm a small seller. It really helps. Enjoy. I think his name is Adam. A-D-A-M. I believe it's Adam. And, uh, what the heck is this one? Um, no invoice. <laughs> okay. I ordered it November 30th, and I just got back uh, for my trip, so it's here now. So let us take a gander, see what it is. Like I said, I know what it is. I put some cardboard over it to make sure it's whatever it is. I use, I have the other, where's my other one? Right here. Oh, here it is. This is my, well, as you can see, it's the New Testament. See, this is the uh, one put out by the uh, New Testament Gullah, Sea Island Creole, the Marginal Text Version, King James, by the American Bible Society, right? And this one, let's see if it says the same thing. I like the fact that it's black. This might have to be carried. I was going to leave this here. I was going to leave this here in Virginia and carry, you know, the old one. Or actually, I ordered another one from Amazon. It should be here. I should have got it a long time ago. Anyway, and this is, again, American Bible Society, but it's, it's, in, it's black. Let's see. Okay, same thing. See, you have the, uh, the Gullah. It's my Gullah Geechee Bible. You have the, that's why it's called the New Testament. And it's uh, they have the same the same thing. This is this is a black cover, the New Testament and color. Well, see like that. That's my people's there. And so it's the same format, wherein is it has uh, the uh, King James version here. You know the old, the Christopher Marlowe Shakespeare kind of English, and then here you have the Gullah on that side. Uh, so it's the same the same um, same thing. It's just that it's black and not maroon. Which is interesting because I think I'd rather carry the black and since it's new, like that. I, I I I should try to put on some sort of finish so this doesn't wear off because this one I carried around so much that you know it wore it wore off. So let's see what I can do about that. Oh there, there's one here. Let me see. Let me see something here. Yeah. See the wall from the back. The American Bible Society put this stuff out. Yeah. Uh, and very few people. I, I find I'm I'm walking around talking to Christians. And they they don't know about the 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 Gullah Bible, you know, the New Testament Gullah Bible. They they don't know about this, and this is wonderful because see I I'm doing I'm not going to do it today. This is this is uh, Sunday and I already put up my uh, uh, Sunday sermon. Uh, I use Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, uh, text as my uh, well as my scripture only on Sundays. Uh, but this is all the other days because I'm trying to basically uh, contact, uh, not contact, uh, experience uh, the, 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 the Gullah language. So I'm, I'm struggling through it, you know. So you, you go on my journey as I maybe get better. But I'll, I'll keep on. I'm, uh, an American Indian, see, my uh, great-grandfather was Gullah Geechee, and, and he was married, well, my great-grandmother, and she was Mohawk Indian. So in, in, in the Indian pantheon, I'm a, a, 
I'm a woodpecker. So I'm going to keep on uh, uh, pecking at this. <laughs> it might be years, but I'm gonna, somehow I'm going to be able to master, well, not master, but, you know, be able to be a little bit more competent in reading the uh, Gullah or well, speaking of Gullah as I can interpret it from the, uh, from the Bible. So I'm happy. So now I just got to find a way to make sure that this doesn't wear off. And then I'll, carry, I'll start carrying this. Uh, I'll start carrying the black version. This one here, because it's black, you know, uh, with me wherever I go. Because, you know, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. You have to know how I think. Here's the thing. People, you know, we have a lot of Christians. Why I, I live in South Africa. We have a lot of Christians in South Africa. They, you know, but there's a lot of traditional stuff. But the, the Christians don't want to vocal because they're always pro spreading the word or whatever have you. And, and I, I run across the people. They say, you know, I read my Bible, blah, blah, blah. Then I can just say, oh, I read my Bible every day. And they be thinking that I'm reading. Well, the King James is in here, but I'm actually reading the Gullah. I don't know. It, it makes sense to me. It don't have to make sense to you. But, you know, I, I like, okay. I'll be honest, because I had the Bible in my hand. Basically, I just like messing with people. I don't know. Look, it's from a kid. From a kid, I like messing with people. Or just uh, it's quips come out my mouth like I can't even help it. Like one time I was, I think I must have been about eight years old, maybe even seven. I think about eight years old, right? You know, all the kids are playing. You know how kids, they be talking. You know, they know you, they, they be this is the Patterson Projects, and they be, you know, barking at you. They be saying stuff, you know, playing the dozens, whatever. And someone said, yeah, but because, you know, my family was raised by my grandmother, so, you know, all brothers and sisters, you know, like that. There's uh, there's no father uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the household, but it's a different time. You see, now I think we had a whole neighborhood. We I had fathers, believe me, had lots of male things. And plus, when my fraternity, I got older, my, my fraternity, when it really counted male, um, you know, I know... It's not like now where you raised by a, a, a woman. In fact, my grandmother, she made she made a point to be the grandmother. She wasn't trying to be the mother. She wasn't trying to be the father. She liked the grandmother. And she'd be kicking us out the house all the time. We had to play it, whatever happened. So we was a group of kids. One kid says, you're a bastard. And I said, right away, I said, just like Jesus. Whoa, it's... <laughs> it's, it's quiet. Everybody, stop. <laughs> That's the kind of guy I am. I being me, T from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.